All right, here is my tutorial about how to use the Shape America progress report template that I made for AutoCAD. This is going to help PE teachers create a supplemental report card and give a little bit more detail to students and parents where a traditional report card wouldn't do uh, our content justice. So here's what we started off with and this was created by the task force at Shape America so I just took what they did in a Word document and put it into a Google Doc um, as you can see it has each of the five standards and then below it it has an area in which you can auto populate whichever grade level outcomes you want it doesn't have to be all of these, I have six in the standard one slot, but you can, if you wanted to, you could add more. So if I wanted to add another one, I could add another one and just do it with the same format. Um, as you can see in each of these boxes, this will pick up the column heading from the Google Sheet. I'm going to get rid of that one. I just created so you can add or delete any of these that you that you want to focus on at the start of your year um, also you can change the evaluation key I just used what they had created in, uh, in the Shape America task force so this is something that you might want to change based on your uh, language and your proficient proficiency scales the other thing that you'll have to look at is the Google Sheet. Now, obviously, first last name, and then grade, teacher, student email, parent email, uh, two slots for parent email. And then in the top column heading is where you can put, in the yellow area here, is where you can put the grade level outcome that you want to choose. So I'm going to go over to, here is a Google Sheet that uh, was crowdsourced. I think Joey Fife and several other PE teachers typed in the grade level outcomes from Shape America into each grade level and by standard here across the bottom, um, all the way through standard five. Now, just for my own purposes, I highlighted which ones that I wanted to keep a close eye on last year, so that's why they're highlighted. Um, but what you would do, for example, if this is grade one, I would just copy if I want this one in my my template, and then I would paste it into that one. And then I would go back and choose second one. And again, I'm just pasting these. The ones that I feel like I would like to use this year. Uh, throwing. And then I can, I can keep going all the way across here. So these are all the ones that I chose to do. And as you can see, the column headings up here, for example, S1.1.1, .1, whatever is typed or pasted into that column will end up here in this template. If you've ever used AutoCRAT, this will make a lot of sense to you. If you've never used AutoCRAT before, um, this it takes a little bit of practice but once you get the general gist of it it will blow your mind how efficient it is and how much time it will save you so I've got all of my standards into the template now uh, I can put students in so however you want to do students I'm just gonna cut and paste those in this is grade one and teacher is with me, so I'm just going to drag that down. And all of these things that I just typed or pasted in there will show up in this template first, last.
will go in the first and the last column. So that's basically, if you've ever done a mail merge before, it's the same exact thing. Teacher, grade, so on and so forth. And then at the end of your marking period, you will have certain grades according to a rubric and according to whatever um, assessments you use at the end of the marking period when it's time to actually report and communicate this is where you would take those numbers and I would just have them in a, a spreadsheet I use iDocio to to do it when I'm assessing my classes but then I would click and drag these down actually I'm just gonna do it um, for all of them so once I highlight all of these I'm just going to drag these all the way down so that all my students have the same thing. Um, and if you look at the yellow is where I type or paste the grade level outcome. And then below it, I just did a, a formula to just whatever's above this is, is going to auto populate that. And then I just drag it down so that it goes to all the students. Um, for student email, I'm just going to put my email into that one just so I can show you what it looks like when it comes through. Now, again, what I was saying about the grades. So here is my end of the marking term grades for this grade level outcome. So hops, gallops, jogs, and slides in a mature pattern. Then I would do the dance. And this one says combines locomotor and non locomotor skills in a teacher led dance. So plop that in. And so I just copy and paste. This is the underhand throw. This is the catch. So whatever skills that you have worked on in your marking period you would just copy and paste or type into those um, all the way across there so I'm going to show you how to run this autocrat so that it creates a progress report and that it emails to the student so make sure when you do this for real I always test it sending an email to myself so I know what it looks like but I go up to add-ons and then I go to autocrat if you don't have AutoCAD already on your computer, you just go to add-ons and then get add-ons and then you search for AutoCAD. If I'm going to do a new job and I'm going to call it standards based samples, then I go to next, choose my template. I already created a template. And you guys can all have that, so I'm just going to select it from my drive. This is the one I want to use. And then I go next. And if you have more than one tab across the bottom, so as you can see, if you have grade one, if you have several grade levels or several classes, you can um, choose whichever one you want to do. And then this is where you just double check to make sure that all of the tabs are assigned. There will be a little uh, warning sign up here in the top right if you don't have everything assigned in the template. And then you can just go ahead and it'll tell you what you need to fix. But mine looks all good. Um, I'm going to just go sample. first and then my students don't have Google Drive so I always have to do everything in a PDF which will email it uh, to them and I'm just going to continue to go on select folder and I'm going to choose whatever folder I want the actual document to be saved in so I'm going to go 
So I'm selecting the folder where the documents will be stored once Autocrat runs the mail merge. So it'll be saved right here. And click next. And next. And continue going. Do I want to share the document? So do I want to send this as an email? Yes. I'm going to send it as a PDF. So just to save some time, here is what you would type at the top. So student email, parent email with the brackets around it. Uh, you would also name the, the email subject and then type a little message into the student and parents about what it is. So when you're happy with how everything is in the Google Sheet, you can go ahead and run the autocrat so you just run job here and this will take a little while so it'll give you the little uh, updates in front of you there and then to your right you'll see uh, it'll add four columns to your spreadsheet and as it works you'll see the mail merges pop up in those columns and then you'll also see the emails coming through uh, if you put the emails to yourself when you test it. So in just a second here, there it is. Uh, I got the email already coming through for the first student there. And so here's my email. It looks good. It says what I want it to say. It's got my heading. It looks correct. And then if I open up the document, it has populated the template with the numbers that I put for that individual student for those grade level outcomes. At the bottom here uh, is the term, so term notes. If I wanted to type in some notes for that particular student for behavioral or any comments that I wanted to add, I could uh, put those in there. And all of this, there's more samples that are listed online. If you go to the Shape America website and you bring up the template that was created by this report task force here. It has several examples of what it would look like, uh, including the assessment tools in the middle column. So this is communicating what assessment tools you used to the parents or to the students. And then this is what it would look like for the term comments at the bottom. So as you can see, it's really nice and clean. It says what you want it to say. It is standards based. Here is their blank template. So this is what I just took and recreated it in Google Drive as a Google Doc template. And the last thing I want to show you is where the progress reports are stored. So they're emailed out to the parents and students but also that folder, whatever folder you want them to go to, you can take a look at any or all of them in whatever folder you assign them to go to, which is pretty nice if you want to go back and take a look at any of them. Um, so they're individualized for each person. Oh, and one more thing, let me show you this as well. And all this is in the link below, so if you want to access any of this, feel free. But I took my own template and I customize it for my school. So at the top, you'll see up at the very top right underneath the standards-based physical education report card, there's my logo, my school logo. We are the Fighting Seahorses. And I've also changed the proficiency scale uh, to one through four, as well as the verbiage. And then I've also added uh, trimesters rather than term one, two, three, and four. We use three trimesters, so it works for me. So you, once you get the hang of this, you can customize it for your own school. Uh, but if you do it in the template, also make sure that you do it in the Google Sheet as well. As you can see at the top, there's only one, two, and three for my terms. So I've just deleted one because I don't have four terms. And if you look at the bottom of the screen, you can see the, each grade that I teach or each class if you want to customize it for your class. So this is my seventh grade class that I teach and it's all customizable. I haven't set it up for this year but I can customize it however I want. 
and here is a sample of what it might look like. Uh, I haven't put the assessment tools in there yet, but that's something that you will plug into the template once you know what tools you've used to assess. So it's very customizable for each teacher's situation, which is awesome. So there you have it, pretty slick, and we'll save you a lot of time, and we'll say the things that you want to say in your report card, even if you don't like what your school has set up and you are standards-based. So if you have any questions, reach out to me. I am happy to help at Mr. Metcalf PE on Twitter. Thank you very much.